Hey guys, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple loading animation in Blender. We're going to animate numbers and then animate the loading bar. It's a fairly simple tutorial, so let's get started. Okay, so to animate the numbers we need to download an add-on from this website in the description and then click clone or download and click download zip. And then just find a place where you want to save the uh, zip file and then you need to unzip the folder. On Mac it's fairly easy to unzip, you just click the uh, file but uh, for uh, Windows you need to go to the file on your uh, file browser and then right click and click extract files. So it's kind of different. Okay, so let's go to Blender and then install the uh, add-on. So click file and then use the preferences and then install from file and since we unzipped the um, zip file, it's now a folder. It's called um, Blender Text Counter. And then select the Python script and install from file. So we installed the Python script. And then you need to search for the add-on, which is uh, texts. And then text counter, select it, and then click Save User Settings. And then exit and now you have the add-on that you need for later in the tutorial okay so now that you know how to install the add-on we're going to start the actual tutorial so start off by switching to cycles render and then you need to go to edit mode and then click G then set and one to grab it one unit on the set axis and then we're going to rotate it so you need to click R then X then minus 90 to rotate it uh, minus 90 degrees on the x-axis and click S to scale it down so something like this and then we're going to go into edit mode so click tab to go into edit mode and go to face select and then click G and then Y to grab the face on the y-axis and this is where the uh, bar is going to start at 0% and now we're going to start animating it using shape keys. So um, go into the triangle symbol and then add a new shape key. And this is the basic one and this is the one we're going to animate. So uh, click tab again to go into edit mode and click G then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And this is going to be the end of the animation. So you can see when we change the value it's going to switch between the basis and key 1. But before we start animating the value, I'm going to left click below the bar and then click Shift A to add a plane. And click S to scale it up. And G set to grab it on the Z axis. And then I'm going to left click again to add a new 3D cursor. And this is where the text will appear. So click Shift A and then add the text. And then I'm going to rotate it, so click R, then X, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X-axis, and then do the same for the Z-axis. So click R, then set, then I think 290 to rotate it uh, to this side, and click G, then Y to grab it on the Y-axis. Okay, so let's add the uh, solidify modifier, just to give the uh, text some... Uh, volume and then it's time to uh, animate the numbers so go to the text options and then go to the bottom to text counter which is the add-on we added at the beginning of the tutorial and when you select the text counter you will see that you have a lot of options but it's actually really easy to animate so let's move to frame 30 when the counter is going to begin and then we're going to keyframe the counter and as you can see, we can change the value of the counter. If you want to have decimal numbers, you can uh, select the decimal box and that way your counter will be more precise. But in this animation, I'm only going to use 100 frames for 100%, so we won't really need the uh, decimals. So I'm going to deselect it and then I'm going to start keyframing. So let's click I to keyframe the uh, value of zero and then select the uh, bar and then click I to keyframe. And then I'm going to uh, 
frame 130 and then I'm going to increase the value to 1 click I to keyframe and then do the same for the uh, number so let's increase this one to 100 which is 100% uh, click I to keyframe the new value and then write in the uh, percentage symbol in the text box for a suffix and as you can see it now changes as you move on the timeline but we need to make the uh, change linear so click T to change the keyframe interpolation in uh, the graph editor and then do the same in the graph editor for the uh, bar and click T and linear when the keyframe interpolation is changed to linear we're going to have the same change in values and in the animation of the bar at every frame so um, now I'm going to set up the lighting the animation is basically done so let's set up the Sun first click uh, 1 on the size and then make the strength let's say 7 and make the color a little bit uh, yellowish okay so click G to grab and R to rotate, I'm going to rotate it a little bit above the uh, bar. Okay, so let's add the first uh, color. And for the floor, I'm going to give it kind of a uh, dark color. So uh, let's select the floor first. Right click to select and then go to materials, new material. And let's make it kind of grayish. And then switch to a glossy material. Increase the roughness to, let's say, point 15. And then select the bar. And I'm going to make this one blue. You can obviously give it whatever color you want because it doesn't really matter for the final animation. So um, I'm going to scale the number a little bit up. And then see what it looks like when it's animated. The rest of this tutorial will mostly be about just setting up the camera and then changing the render settings and starting the render so if um, all you needed to know was how to animate the numbers and the bar the tutorial is basically done so um, now I'm going to change the end frame to 150 and to see through the camera you need to click numpad 0 and then select it right click and then click shift F to go into the fly cam and you can switch back and forth between uh, uh, gravity and not having any gravity at all by clicking tab and you move around with W A S and D just like in a video game okay so I think I'm also going to select the floor and add some uh, walls so uh, go to edit mode and select both of the uh, edges and then click E to extrude it so now we have some basic walls and then I'm just going to find a position I want to have for the camera might move it a little bit around but it doesn't really matter you can just move it wherever you want with the fly cam and I think I like this material kind of grayish glossy kind of the same as we had earlier and let's go to the render settings increase the resolution quality to 100% change the frame rate to 30 fps and we're going to use uh, PNG files for the render and the animation and then go to sampling and increase it to let's say 250 samples and then I'm going to find a place on my computer where I want to save the finished images from the rendered animation so just make a new folder on your computer wherever you want and then give it a name and when you render out this animation all of these PNG files will appear in this folder. And that's pretty much it. Let's just start the animation. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And thank you guys for watching.